Takwimu za sasa kutoka kwa bodi ya kutoa mikopo ya elimu ya juu HELB imeonyesha kuwa wanafunzi 1108109 pekee ndio waliofanikiwa kuwasilisha maombi ya ufadhili na mikopo huku wanafunzi 1252230 wakiwa bado hawajafanikiwa kuwasilisha maombi yao Uh, Kufuatia takwimu hizo, shirika lisilokuwa la kiraia la elimu bora limeeleza kuwa wanafunzi wamechanganyikiwa kwa kuwa hawajui ni kitengo gani cha ufadhili na mikopo watakayopata huku vyo vingine vikiwa vimeanza masomo. Nobody can tell with certainty which number of students or what number of students have been categorized as vulnerable uh, 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 needy or uh, uh, very needy a needy and a less needy so i think that is a huge challenge eligible students face prolonged university and college placement delays due to a lack of clear instructions from kenya universities and colleges central placement services wadau hao wa elimu bora wamedai kuwa mfumo mpya ufadhili wa elimu ya juu ni njia ya kuongeza karo the new funding model is actually entrenching our education as a source of profit and not a public good you are seeing students as clients whom you give money and then will give you back the money as an interest so in a nutshell it's true that the new funding model encourages more loan application than scholarship application ikilinganishwa na mfumo wa awali ambao wanafunzi waligaramika shilingi 1016 kila mwaka na kupata mkopo wa hadi shilingi 1060 sasa huenda mfumo huo mpya ukaongeza kiwango cha mikopo katika mfumo huo mpya kozi moja inayogarimu shilingi 1650 bila ufadhili huenda gharama yake ya mkopo ikawa juu zaidi kwa mfano katika kozi ya kiwango hicho cha karo asiyejiweza kabisa anaweza kupata mkopo wa asilimia 18 ambao ni shilingi 1117 anayehitaji usaidizi zaidi atapata mkopo wa asilimia 30 ambayo ni shilingi 1195 Anayehitaji usaidizi atapata mkopo wa asilimia 40 ambayo ni shilingi 1260 na anayejiweza kiasi atapata mkopo wa asilimia 55 ambayo ni shilingi 1375 waweze kuja na mfumo wa malipo kama tunaweza sema mtu ataweza fanya kazi kwa serikali halipe kidogo kidogo wa serikali kikata kwa sababu hii ni pesa ya ambayo imetolewa na serikali waweza kurudisha huduma kwa serikali sasa wadau wa elimu bora wanataka mfumo huo usimamishwe we want the country to return to the previous model for continuing and new and new students and eventually eliminate tuition fees elimu bora working group wants the government to ensure unhindered university and tuvet entry for qualified students and then waive registration fees ila wasipotekeleza matakwa hayo basi wameitaka serikali iongeze muda wa uwasilishaji wa maombi ya mikopo na ufadhili kwa wiki mbili zaidi hayo yanajiri wakati ambapo rais Ruto aliagiza vyo vikuu visajili wanafunzi wote hata wasiokuwa na karo wakati swala la ufadhili na mikopo likishughulikiwa Harriet Chimea K24